kind of a mess out here. All of this material is actually a resource. had a bit of a windstorm late last night. According to the news, I guess about 100,000 customers lost power in the greater Portland area. PGE actually preemptively cut power to a lot of people out in Hood River because we had such dry conditions and with high wind, there was a real danger of fire if trees take out power lines, that kind of thing. We're gonna take a quick look around here and see if there's any damage. We didn't lose power at all. I expect it's just small stuff down. A lot of pine cones. Let's see how our animals are doing. How you doing, turkey? The turkey and goats seem to be doing good. The rabbits are just fine. They may have been a little rattled in their cages, but nothing seems to have uh, really affected them. It's kind of a mess out here. All of this material is actually a resource. The pine cones, believe it or not, I pick up and store in boxes and buckets and things, and I'll, I'll chip and shred them into mulch. Just recently, I shredded a whole bunch of pine cones, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's used as mulch. The pine branches that are down, I'll probably just feed to the goats, since they really like that as a treat. Anything they don't eat will go out into the yard debris bins later in the week. goats are doing good. Are you scared of the wind? Nothing to be scared of. Chickens are just fine.
Mini Cooper chickens are doing good. These rabbits in the rabbit tractors looks like they had kind of a little, little bit of a rough ride last night. There's a few big branches right next to their cage. They probably had an interesting night. Definitely some branches into the garden, hopefully not too much damage. greenhouse seems to have held up all right. Fire danger is a very real thing right now. We're right at the end of summer. We really haven't had a lot of rain. The conditions are incredibly dry and the temperatures are pretty high. So fire is, uh, is kind of a big deal. There are two fires relatively close by. They're both fairly good distance away so we're not worried, but there were folks last night that had to evacuate. A lot of people out here in the West are hoping for rain. Look at that sky up there. It almost looks like Mars. We've got an awful lot of smoke blowing in and it's really changing the, the light of day out here. Pretty interesting. 
Over here, we've got a pile of the bare branches that I'll be chipping and shredding. Anything that the goats leave behind that's fairly substantial, I'll, I'll also chip and shred. The wind brought down some of my neighbor's pears. I have a nice arrangement with him. If the pears fall on the ground, I can pick them up to feed to our chickens. He uh, obviously doesn't relish the idea of picking up all these overripe fruit himself, and I can actually get some use out of it, so it works out really well. The one thing I don't like about picking up these pears is all of the bees that are hanging around. Fortunately, if you're relaxed and not bothered by the bees, then they generally won't bother you. I did not get stung. Actually, I can't remember the last time I was. I'll probably have to make a couple of trips to get all these pears. Chicken's lucky day. Here's for chickens. This is a lot of pine cones.